All right, I think we started recording. Hello, everyone. Today we're gonna get the brig, which oh my god, it takes so much money. If you guys haven't seen, which is 20k, right? Now I know most people don't have the kench. Would be like the next best option to use to probably farm the kench, since mainly everybody just farm cargo to get kench, right? That is the fastest way and the most consistent. Like besides that, you will be hunting like pirate ship mostly, and then what comes after that? I think maybe fishing, right? So the best way is definitely still cargo. I would say, in my opinion. So basically, if you guys don't know, but you can do cargo, which is the box back here. Oh, don't mind me teleporting. I just have. A lot of agility <laughs> I think I have like how much agility I have, have yeah you know the good old wait what 300 okay I, I don't know uh, <laughs> I don't know how I had that they buff like certain like armor and stuff so now it's like higher so you know let's you know, not talk about that for now we will talk about the cargo anyways it will cost you 50 gallon right if you're not familiar with cargo per cargo and what you want to do is go from Ravana. I should guess the route, by the way. You'll probably want to go to Ravana, right? You'll go up, go up, 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 all the way to Red Wake. I recommend coming in from the left because there are less pillars blocking away. And then you'll get like what, 50 gallon and stuff. I mean, you could go to Frost Mill, but like get like, I think maybe 10 gallon less. So you might as well go to Red Wake and sell everything, right? And make sure you have a Quartermaster. And what I mean by Quartermaster is like this NPC next to you. So usually you can talk talk to them. You can click unload the ship, right? That will unload all the package, cargo on your ship. And the faster the boat you have, definitely would be better to farm for the Kench. The Kench. The Brig. So... If you can, try to get at least the helm sail cloth. I believe you can get it by farming the pirate ship at level 90 plus, which might take more time. If you do want, you know, uh, if you do want the brig, so like you kind of have to farm pirate ship anyways. But if you're thinking of getting ship parts, right, like reinforced wood wooden hull, right, to get more speed, so you can do cargo faster. You might also farm the pirates, so you get money, more money, right? And then you can do cargo later. That might be pretty fun. I think that's a good strat. If you don't have ship parts and are getting started with the game. Well, then there's like getting good armor and stuff. So, yeah, you gotta be careful. Definitely, like if you guys st skip the steps, you know, while farming, right? If you're just low level, farming will be different. Definitely very difficult for pirates, right? So, might as well just do cargo. If you don't have any gear, right? Just skip straight away, basically. <laughs> Which, it, it kind of sucks, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So, I, I got like a little bit of cargo. I think usually it takes about maybe half an hour maybe to fill everything. I'm not sure. It depends how fast you are. Like for the catch, of course. But, usually, it would take that long. And how long it would take to usually, um, to get the break, I would say it depends how you farm really, right? But if you only do cargo, I say you it takes like maybe, maybe eight hour maximum, right? If you just non-stop farm cargo. So, that's pretty good or like an alternative plan i would say maybe like farm over the week maybe like do one cargo run per day and then like go around and like farm some pirate ship because i think that's fun or do some fishing because that's also fun i'm just like listing out listing out the things that would be fun because playing this game sometimes can be exhausting <laughs> And then I know the Dark Sea did come out and everybody wants to go to it. But you really can't go to it, right? 
Like we could farm in there, right? Like, oh yeah, the Dark Sea has the best loot, so we could just go there and farm, right? But that's really not how it works because of the stability, <laughs> right, of your ship. And especially if you don't have ship parts after you've gone your cargo done, right? You still have to technically do pirate ship farming to get like certain parts to upgrade and have your ship be ready for Dark Sea because if you don't have 100% stability, you'll get destroyed basically. It means the rough waters. Let's see, we can find one. It's those little like things that have bulges, you know, in the water. You guys should have seen them, you know, while playing. So be careful to avoid them if possible. But if you have 100% stability, which is in the ship, you know, I was showing you guys. It's that wave looking thing. <laughs> it's weird. But you can get it basically by get doing the hole. I mean, by getting a better hull. The only way you can, like, improve this is Quartermaster, the hull, right? And your crew from Red Wake. And that's really basically it for now. I'm not sure if any of the rare item gives you, like, uh, what is it called again? Oh my god, I forgot. It's called Stability. I forgot. Because I keep mixing it up with Resilient and Stability, so... But yeah, I think that's basically it for all the tips I got for you guys. Basically, do cargo, <laughs> sleep, repeat. <laughs> oh man, it, it's, it's really rough. Or if you don't want to do cargo, there's the option of you know, pirate ship hunting and fishing, which is important. But yeah, I'll see you guys at Red Wake real quick, you know? Alrighty, we're back at Red Wake. So. It means we can sell a little bit of cargo. Um, let's hope we don't crash. I came in from that direction. From south. What the? From Frostmill? What the hell? Die. Uh, you know, this shark was hunting me the whole time. And I thought we were hunting sharks, man. That's kind of scary. Okay. Um, <laughs> please don't attack me. I know I attacked him. So. Anyways. We're going to leave him alone. But. We're just gonna talk to our quartermaster and unload the ship. This is the easier part. Like you don't have to sell it manually anymore. So that's a that's a nice change. And I believe you can also dash with the cargo. Ugh. If you guys made it this far into the video, <laughs> you guys deserve to know that information anyways. But we basically get like almost double our money for every cargo sold. Which means we earn like what, 49? Galleons because we had to spend some money to get it But if you are planning to be like a, a bounty user like an assassin syndicate or something You could just try to rob right? You can rob the cargo and then that way you don't have to spend money And that that would be that much better. I Sure hope like no like extreme newbie is trying to get the brig But if they are oh, they're gonna have to farm at frost mill right grind there until they get like 1k galleon or be able to buy the caravel caravel is like 1.2k right farming up for that for another 1k something 2.2k in order to actually start farming because i think 1k would be like the best amount to start doing cargo basically it's not a lot it's not too little either it's like right in the middle perfect so and you basically repeat doing these cargo for like what? Maybe... Is it 8 hours? I mean 8 hours if you're slow I guess. It would be 6 hours really. If you're like pretty fast about it. So it's really not that hard if you're willing to grind. Which is part of the game. Oh my god. I need to get back to the dark sea speaking of grind. Oh my god. It was pain. Oh. I need more speed. So. And get some rare items along with it. But yeah. That's basically it guys. I will see you guys next time. You know good luck grinding the brig.